So I decided it was time to have a little fun for a change and make something that was personally rewarding. So a week or so ago, somebody uh, sent me an email and asked me if I could make a, a lighted sign for them. And the answer, of course, is sure. It's not really that hard. So what I made was this. And it's just simple acrylic. You can make them for, you know, $10, $15. Uh, very simple. But more importantly, the lesson here is how do you actually work with acrylic? Because it seems simple, but there are a few tips and tricks, and we'll cover those in this video. Hi, I'm Steve, and I make everything. And today I wanted to do something special. I've been focused a, a little much lately on the actual hardware for things like lasers and, and to a lesser degree 3D printing, but I do have to get back to that as well. And instead I wanted to actually build a project. And uh, as I mentioned in the lead-in, uh, somebody came to me, a customer, and wanted to have a lighted sign that they could put up on, on their desk behind them so that when they were on video calls, and who isn't these days, they could see their logo in behind, uh, in behind them. So uh, they came to me and said, you know, can you make me one of these? So, uh, you know, we talked a bit about a couple of options and the simplest, you know, to keep the cost down, the simplest was to use some basic acrylic and uh, some of these lighted LED bases. And I'll show you uh, the one I chose uh, on from Amazon and just put something together really quickly. So what I wanted to do, aside from building the sign, was actually s sit down and describe some of the tips and tricks for creating the sign. So working with acrylic. Acrylic is fairly easy to work with, uh, it, but the settings for laser etching or engraving uh, can be a bit tedious. And what you can end up with is either engraving too shallow or too deep, and you spoil the effect of, of the LED uh, edge, edge lighting. So, you know, there, I wanted to kind of do a quick video to create this, show you how I created this project. And uh, so you can create your own. And we'll start in general with some of the things I did in Inkscape. Uh, you can do your own, your own things, but there were a couple of tricks that uh, I did in Inkscape to create some of the effects in the finished light. And then I'll show you how to lay, lay out the, the sign to get the best lighting effect when, when you're finished. And then it's up to you and you can create your own. So with that, let's uh, start by popping into Inkscape and I'll walk you through just how to create one of these signs quickly. So here I have Inkscape fired up. It's just a blank page and uh, there's really two components we have for a light and the first one is the outline. And the outline has a flange on the bottom that fits into the slot for the LED. And I can pop a picture up in the corner um, at some point or just show you the base uh, later in the video. It's really just a string of LED lights at the bottom of a slot. And that slot is 80 millimeters wide and about four millimeters deep and uh, in thickness and uh, roughly 14 millimeters uh, this in depth. So you can, 14 millimeters of acrylic sits inside the base. So what I did was I created a, just a, a kind of canned edge template for this. And I can upload this uh, later if people, if people want it. And all it is is, just a base, and I mentioned there's a 80 millimeter, roughly 80 millimeter uh, flange at the bottom. And then the rest of this area you can use for, for putting anything you want inside, inside the, the light. So uh, what I'll put in is, uh, is just my, my logo. And uh, it's, nothing, it's nothing too complex, just a simple logo and we can resize it so it fits in the slot or in the the item now what i'll do is just to make things easy here i'll align both of these to um to the just put them in the center of the page and and just to make things easier so now we, now we can move the sign up so it's roughly centered in the 
in the frame. So there's roughly what, what our light will look like. Now there's a couple of things you have to do. They're kind of tricks. What I want uh, is to make these letters end up being transparent in the plastic, in the acrylic. So I don't want the laser to touch any of these letters. And the way to do that, and I'll just walk through one of them here. I won't, I won't do them all, but so let me ungroup this first. So apparently I have more groups. Okay. Uh, so what I have is for this top one, top element is some text and a rectangle that I want to put it in. And really it's that rectangle I want to punch these holes into. So the way to do that uh, simply is in Inkscape at least is I want to create a path for these first. And now if I actually go look at them an element at a time, you'll see that they are each now made up of of uh, path vectors, so they're they're no longer characters. But to make this simple, what I want to do is is select them all, and in effect, uh, rejoin them into one element. So I'll just I choose them, and all I really have to do is say combine these. So now it's if I select anything here, it selects them all, and then I also want to select the rectangle, and to create that that hole in them for each of the letters. All I really need to do is um, is do a an exclusion. And now whenever I lay that thing out on the on the laser, it will be one single element that looks like that rectangle, but it'll have all these holes in it that match the letters. And so I'll do the same thing with all of the other ones. And just to, to make them all proper vectors. And that's really all I need to do. Uh, I mean, I can change the color of things here, but once I load it into, into the laser, it's all gonna be wireframe anyway. It, just, it will just be lines, vectored lines. So I just wanted to show you that, that one little trick so that uh, when you see it laid out on the laser and certainly in the finished product, you'll see that where these letters are, is just clear plastic. It hasn't been touched by the laser, but everything around it will have been engraved with uh, some level of power. So that's that's all we have to do. And so now we can just do what we would normally do to send this to, to the laser is we could save a copy uh, as a PDF. And uh, if I can find PDF here, sorry. And uh, you know, we can put it really anywhere and hit save, and then we could load that into uh, the laser software uh, later to lay out and set the intensity, the power settings for each of the elements in there. In the end, we'll have effectively, I don't know, five elements. We'll have this box with this text, this one, this one, the tools, and this outline, there's an outline box here as well, and uh, the outline, the actual cut line that we're going to use to create our sign. So that's, that's all we need to do. Okay, before I actually laser cut this, I wanted to show you uh, how uh, I lay this sign out. And so what I'll do is I'll just import uh, the image I have into the simulator, this is the simulator software for the laser rather than the real thing. And I only need the vector because we're gonna do everything with vectors uh, on this drawing. So here you can see it and it's all just wireframe. But if we look at it, you'll see that there's you know six elements here. And if we kind of go through these, we can set the color. So the first one is the, is the outline and that's the thing we wanna cut. So I traditionally use red for that. And what, I'll, what I've done is set the speed to 35%. So it'll go much slower, but it'll bang away at the acrylic with 100% power. That'll ensure that it gets cut all the way through. Uh, next thing is the, the tool set. And for that, we'll fill it and we'll make it arbitrarily this purple color. And 
Next element is just the outline, which is fine. Uh, it's black already, so we can leave it as black. Uh, the top word we will fill as well, and uh, uh, we'll pick yellow for that, and uh, I'll talk about the power settings in a second. And the middle piece, again, we'll fill it, and black is fine for that. And the bottom piece, uh, we'll reuse the purple again. So what I've done, if you see the settings here, yellow is the current, they're all 100% except for the cut. The etchings are all 1% power, but the current you'll see has changed. And this just kind of affects how intensely the laser hits the acrylic. So things that are yellow, which is the tops, top will be 100% current, but 1% power. And then the black, which is the middle piece, will be 90% current. And the two purple elements will be at 70% current. And the reason I did this is because as I move up towards the top, the etching gets a little more intense and a little deeper. And you don't have to do this, but it, it helps make the sign more balanced. So what it does is helps make sure that the light when it hits the purple word down here is about the same intensity as the light up here. So less light gets intercepted by this word and more light gets intercepted by this word, uh, this set of words. And in a, it has the effect of of having the same intensity. And then in the middle, we chose kind of a middle, uh, a middle power setting between the two that gets us, uh, you know, kind of the same uh, effect where it's, so the intensity looks the same all the way up. And the one last thing we want to do is we want to print this on the back side of the acrylic. So what we'll do is we'll select it and we'll just flip it backwards. So we're now looking effectively from the back through the plastic. So all the words and everything is backwards. But when we look at it in the finished acrylic, we'll look from the other side and everything will be uh, exactly how we want. So that's it. Uh, the, last, the next thing to do is uh, prep the material and get the laser ready. And we'll do that next. So before we get started with the laser, I wanted to show you a, a bit of a trick. So acrylic is, it's fairly easy to cut, but the, the problem is if you get the, the surface hot, it'll actually get some hazing, especially around cuts. And that's actually modifying the plastic. So you really can't get rid of it, but there is a trick you can use to prevent it. And that is of course, ordinary dish soap. And really all you wanna do is put you know, just a couple of little dabs down and just spread it out really thin over where you're going to cut. And we'll use this corner uh, for our for our sign. And it's it's really just a thin edge. And what it allows, what it does is prevents the the smoke from kind of coming up and infecting the rest of the plastic around it with with this haze. So, it's, you don't have to do it, but it, it makes a nicer job. And this, this acrylic, by the way, is cast rather than, than rolled. Rolled uh, acrylic tends to do this, this hazing much, much more than, than cast does, but cast, you can still make it happen. So. so what I did was peel the paper off of one side, and that's the side we, we will do our etching on, and the other side will be the side that the the user, the viewer actually sees as the lighted sign.
So here's our finished sign. I peeled the paper off and washed the soap off of it. So you can see it's very, very light finish and it's all on the back. And now we, gotta, we have to light it. So what I have is these, these are little LED bases and you can get them on uh, Amazon sometimes for less than $10. They come with a remote as well uh, to select any color you want and also some effects. And they'll either run off of three AA batteries or uh, USB. You can plug them into a USB port as well. And I'll use the USB since I have it handy. So, there we go, we'll plug it in, and we just place it right here so I can see it in front of the camera, and we will drop our sign in. And there you have it. One simple acrylic sign, and it looks great. This is, I have most of my lights on here, so uh, it's not like it's dim or... Uh, you know, or anything and we can play with the remote here and change to other colors. I find these remotes, the batteries generally need to be replaced in them as soon as you get them. So, and this one is certainly no exception. But uh, they use the standard uh, 2032 batteries. They're, they're cheap as well. But, and you can also brighten and dim, and, and dim these. But we can also, it has a touch as well. So. So you can see how it, uh, how it looks. And that's our project. So that's it, you saw, you saw the sign, we made it. It was pretty simple to create uh, and uh, it was cheap. Uh, you know, a couple dollars worth of acrylic and you know, eight or $10 for an LED base, uh, including a remote, which is, which is kind of nice. And you're ready to go. Uh, I was actually on a Zoom call with, uh, with the customer uh, the other day and saw his brand new sign in, in the background. That's why he wanted it. And in fact, he's now ordered a second one because he has two locations and, and wanted to be able to have the same effect in, in both places. So uh, with that, we'll call it a video. Hopefully you got some value out of it, particularly around some of the tips and tricks for, for working with acrylic. It's not particularly hard, but it gets a lot easier if you know a few of the secrets. So uh, if you like this video and got value, by all means, click the thumbs up down below. Uh, leave a comment. I'm happy to start discussions around some of these, these techniques. And uh, by all means, subscribe. It helps me and hopefully uh, you'll get some continued value uh, from some of these videos as well. And uh, with that, I'll see you next time.